Hello, this is Shai Cloud, and welcome to a, another Xbox One video. We're playing Halo 5 today. Um, I just got it today, and I've been... I played it a little while earlier today, so we're getting started on the first mission um, called Osiris. Um, so, yeah. So that was, whoa, that was a pretty good first cutscene. Um, 
This may be the first Halo game, or the only Halo game that doesn't start with Master Chief in the beginning level. So yeah, um, we are Spartan, we're uh, Spartan Locke, um, I don't remember his first name, but uh, yeah, Spartan Locke, and um, this is Fire Fire Team Osiris, so we have, um, these are just their last names, so Tanaka, Vale, and Buck. Uh, Buck used to be an ODST dude, and he was actually in the Halo 3 ODST game, so, yeah. So we have the Promethean Crawler dudes, we have the Jackals, and Grunts and you know, the other guys there. So another thing, um, one of, whoops, whoops, alright, so, um, sorry. So the controls are very similar. Um, to zoom in, you have to hold LT. Um, to throw grenades is LB. To punch is RB. To crouch is the uh, right stick. And to sprint is the left stick. Um, to look is the right stick just moving it around, and to move is the left stick. So, and, uh, X is to reload, B is to do this, to like, to do this, move out of the way, like that, kind of like dodge. Um, Y, switch weapons, A, to jump. And, um, yeah, so... Another new control is if you jump up to something like that, and you see how I kind of put my hand out and grab onto it a little bit, that's to ledge climb. No, near a ledge to climb. Yeah, so you climb, it's just saying it up there. And so you can grab onto things. If you just barely can't make it like that, you know, those annoying jumps, you just press it twice like that. And you can jump up there. Another thing is if I sprint, then press RB, I do this. I do a Spartan charge thing and smash into the walls. These guys are different. They're like. If you, if you, uh, in Halo 4, you have the Promethean Knights, and you have the Promethean Knights in here, but they're like, they're a little weaker than Hunters, but they're, uh, more powerful than, they're less, well, yeah, they're more powerful than these guys. I don't know what these guys' names are, but they're, I think they're just, like, the, Forerunner soldiers, and you also have the same crawlers as in the last game. And whoop. and I'm already out of ammo. This is what I don't like about being Spartan Buck. Is he or not Buck? What's his name? Spartan Lock. Because he uh, he runs out of ammo so fast. Um, the bolt shot shoots three bullets at a time now. A uh, forerunner bolt shot thing. And um, the suppressor thing, I think it kind of follows them. I don't know, the suppressor doesn't shoot as fast.
You can do the Spartan charge things at enemies, like that, and it instantly kills them. Oops. With these guys, it might not, but... Oh, yeah, it does. And, um, yeah, so there's a big battle going on out there right now. Ow! And you see they go into that mode there where they're a lot weaker after you get them down quite a bit. And if you shoot them right there, they're kind of weak when they're doing that. And, uh, so basically, Dr. Halsey is captured by an elite, an elite guy, um, can't remember his name, it's, well, no, I can't, she was captured by an elite, and her name, his name is Jewel Am, Am Dan, I can't remember, <laughs> uh, and yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have this. If you press down, it kind of highlights the things that you need to find. So, analyze for under system with my little wristband thing. Um, also, I can call these guys to to things so if I say if I press up and go like that they'll all move to that position if there's a gun on the ground I or right here I'm not gonna do it right here but I can I can send them to get a gun and so somebody will go and grab that gun or grenade or whatever or vehicle even so because I'm the team leader, I can do that, and... Whoa. What is that? So yeah, let's keep going through here. Uh, I think that thing's called a Kraken, the giant thing. Our destination is on the other side of this battlefield. Whoa. Watch out for the Kraken. The Covenant are trying to use it to break the Promethean lines. I'd rather not get stuck between them. I pressed wrong button. Oh, also, if I jump up into the air, press LT and start shooting, I use these little rocket things on my back to make it where I don't fall. Where I don't fall as fast. Pistol, not the pistol, so the magnum, uh, the power of the magnum from, uh, not all of it, but from, um, Halo Combat Evolved. Um, because they used to be really powerful, um, 
but they changed it in the later games, and now it's kind of brought back with some pistols. I don't know if it's all of them. I don't know. It's there's some guns that are like the same. Like you could get a pistol that's more powerful than another pistol. It just kind of depends on the character who's using it. And um, yeah, up, up, down. All right, so I can request somebody to come and heal me, or I'm gonna die. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. So, yeah. I won't die, like, right away. But I like the pistol. You can zoom in on that, too. I think you can zoom in using every weapon. I'm not... You can zoom in with this. I think the suppressor actually works kind of like a needler now. A little bit, like it goes towards the guys. I don't know. Gonna go in here. I don't know what I just did. So these are the Promethean Knights. They are weak in the glowing spots, and you can break their armor parts off. But they are much more powerful than they were in the other game. In Halo 4. And for some reason, I don't know why, probably something to do with the Didax dying, but the Prometheans and the Covenant are not on the same side anymore. So I can also send them after specific guys, so they'll be concentrating most of their fire on that one guy. I need somebody to help me! Help me! Help me! I'm just gonna focus most of their fire on one guy at a time. Punch in the face, punch in the face. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's just like shot in the face when you die. Alright, danger is clear. We move on all the
they're probably really regretting having their base on the side of a, on like the side of a mountain, as they're all falling off and dying and like. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end up this video here, and then in, in, and then in the next video, we'll get to play as Master Chief, and as you can probably see, <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you all later. Bye.